Welcome everyone, I wanted to do a quick video about a recent trip that I made, it was to Walmart, but this has inspired this video. I had to run to Walmart quickly to run a couple of errands, pick up a few items. As I was running in the store, I noticed that there were dollar bills just scattered all around the parking lot. I had other things to do. I ran in the store quickly. A couple minutes later, I'm out. By the time I got back out, I noticed everything was gone. There was no one in the parking lot prior to me going in the store, or not many people in the parking lot, so obviously someone picked it up. And it's really got me thinking, what is the value of a currency? Why is it that the depreciating dollar, people will go, people will break each other's necks to get that next dollar? And the dollar is devaluing, it's, but it's still the standard. It's what you can use to buy items, purchase items, and purchase services. And it's going to be like that for the foreseeable future. I guarantee you, if you put a Tangem card with, I don't know, 10,000 ADA on the street and you labeled it, and then you put a $100 bill, um, people would probably choose the $100 bill nine times out of 10. You would have to know what Cardano is in order to understand what the value of that card is. So that being said, we're going to try to analyze why I think that Cardano will be a currency in the future. One of these things that I look at when I'm investing in blockchain projects or investing in cryptocurrency is this idea of a closed loop system or the first law of thermodynamics says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one form to another. So I try to apply this to cryptocurrency and what blockchain projects or what cryptocurrency projects out there have this sort of closed loop system where value main, value stays within that system. While you can say that the dollar, there's a lot of value that leaks out of the system because of all the printing, at the end of the day, most people spend their money and even the people hiding their money under mattresses for hard times, eventually they, they pick up that mattress and then they take that money and then they spend it. People are quick to spend money. People are quick to not hoard money. And if they're hoarding money, I mean, they're putting in a bank account, but they're recycling it. They're recycling it constantly. So how can we move from this culture of hoarding cryptocurrency to a culture of spending cryptocurrency? And I think that proof of stake protocols or proof of stake blockchains are going to be the first ones in starting this wave to actually start spending this cryptocurrency, spending the tokens within a blockchain. And the reason why is because if you compare proof of stake to proof of work, for example, let's take Bitcoin. Bitcoin is proof of work. There are plenty of very rich wallet addresses that stay untouched. You know, Satoshi's wallet has a million Bitcoin. It's either lost or destroyed. And the first law of thermodynamics says that it's not really a closed system if things are being destroyed. And I know that appreciates the value of your Bitcoin, but at the end of the day, it's a hoarding mentality because even the rich, the richest Bitcoin holders, they have their Bitcoin somewhere in vaults in Switzerland. They're not motivated to spend their Bitcoin. And let me tell you something about the ultra, ultra rich. At least this is a theory or a hypothesis. Even if Bitcoin goes to $100,000, they're still not going to spend it. They're still not going to spend it. It's like a piece of art for them. It's just going to sit in that high secure cave they don't even need it just like people buy very expensive pieces of art and they just lock it away there's no utility for it these ultra wealthy are not going to sell it's going to be a token for them just like an expensive car that they don't drive is just another ex piece of expensive memorabilia that they can use to pass on from generations to generation but most of them have the money already the most of them with extreme wealth already have the money. They're not going to, they may, they may take some, but they're not going to be incentivized to really spend that money. On the other hand, we have proof of stake. So we take a cryptocurrency like Cardano. There are a lot of whales in, within Cardano. But when Shelly starts, when staking starts, you're going to see these wallets. They're going to go from active, they're going to go from inactive to active because no one's going to miss out on appreciating their ADA holdings and participating within the network. And all these transactions that are happening within Cardano are generating transaction fees 
and money is going to be moving here and here and then those transaction fees get moved to the treasury and it's kind of like this closed loop system where all the wallets all the money is circulating and i think that it's going to be a i'm not going to say all the monies are going to be circulating but there's going to be a lot of money that is going to be incentivized to circulate a lot of people are going to be spending their ADA rewards and they're going to be spending and validating blocks within the blockchain and creating this healthy ecosystem of spending and receiving it's about finding that balance in addition when we have bitcoin there's a lot of bitcoin that's been lost over the years and this and more and more Bitcoin will be lost more and more and more often. And this just incentivizes people to, uh, while it does increase the value of BTC inherently, it also creates this notion of fear amongst the Bitcoin community that, you know, I don't want to lose my coins. I don't want to lose my coins. So I'm just going to store it away forever. And I just don't think that Bitcoin will be used as a currency. I think it's just going to be used as a store of value. But what about currency? We're looking at this word currency. Where can we insert this word within Cardano? On the other hand, Cardano is working on various different things to make sure that the community is as, as invested in the project as they are. So whether that be the treasury system, whether that be multi-sig, whether that be just being able to participate and delegate to a staking pool. People are going to be extremely happy to produce value within this ecosystem. And I saw a project by Robert and he, we're going to have him on the Cardano effect. And he's, he did a project, a quick shout out to him. He did a project called Sire and basically validating the addresses within a blockchain. So people feel more comfortable spending money without feeling like they're sending it to the wrong address. So I think that all these different features, all these projects are going to be working in tandem in order to increase the value of ADA and ultimately lead to a more fluid ecosystem or fluid blockchain. I just don't see it for other blockchain projects, especially proof of work projects. I feel like it's going to be just hoarded until the end of time. And I like to leave you with this because I know a lot of people probably have heavy BTC bags, but this is not a hate on BTC. It is what it is. But if you choose the right altcoins, if you choose the right alt projects and they deliver what they're supposed to deliver, they will outperform BTC. You know, even if BTC goes to $100,000, what is that? Is that like a 12x from here? It'll be easy for Cardano to hit a 12x if if um we hit our goals and there are going to be other projects too but you have to pick correctly bitcoin is of course the safest investment at this relatively the safest investment but the correct out choices will outperform btc so even this idea of a store of value you can argue that at this point and at this point of where we're at i don't know if we're in a bear market still it's it's not even that's not even an argument anymore because right now it, it, it's probably better of a store of value if you pick the right altcoin than if you pick bitcoin that's just my opinion we'll see how it plays out i think i'm going to be correct but what do you think about currency what do you think about us trying to take what we learn from the dollar and try to create this more fluid fluid environment even people that are even people that are um, performing illegalities within the fiat system, they're constantly washing their money. The money is circulating. It is circulating. Uh, there's not a lot of people, you know, and if you, if you stack too much money in your house, eventually someone's going to break in and take that money and spend it for you. So that's what I think. And I'm looking forward to see which projects are actually adopted as currencies. And I think Cardano is going to be a very healthy system to start this transition to electronic currencies. So that being said, until the next video, thank you.